Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new day. Welcome to our first snowfall of the season. It's Thursday morning, uh, probably almost 8 o'clock. Uh, it started snowing like at 4 in the morning and it's supposed to snow the rest of the morning and it possibly will turn to rain, which is going to make it very messy. But right now it's so beautiful out. I am shoveling. It is still snowing, but if I shovel now, I won't have as big a pile to shovel later. So, <laughs> so yeah, gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful out here. Oh, it's a winter wonderland. I'll show you around and you can see how much snow we got. So everything is snow covered right now. So hope you're all doing well and enjoy your Thursday. And uh, <laughs> many of you may... Uh, may have possibly gotten snow as well so all right so let's turn you around and I'll show you the snow all right so the truck is snow covered but look at this how beautiful is this you can see our maple leaves still has some leaves on it they're really pretty they're orange kind of like an orange color how beautiful is that? All the antiques in the snow with the wood background. That's what we love about our ho the this part of our house. Look at that. It's absolutely beautiful out here. <laughs> All right, I'm going to continue to shovel and I'll uh, get back to you guys in a bit. All right, everyone, so it's like uh, just after 10 o'clock, and uh, yeah, so I shoveled everywhere, and our very nice neighbor across the street came and did the front of the driveway. He was snow blowing his driveway, and he did a couple more driveways. He's, uh, he's very nice and always helpful, so, but I, uh, I shoveled. The back of the trailer, the sides of the trailer, the sides of the truck, and even onto the grass next to the trailer where Glenn would usually uh, um, drive his scooter when he goes to the truck. Um, I need to make sure all that snow is gone now for tomorrow when we go to get married. So I have to make sure his path is clear. You know, I just, I just, we, we can't have anything go wrong tomorrow. <laughs> so, so I did all that shoveling. I was, my jacket was soaking wet when I came in because it was still snowing when I was shoveling. So I have that hanging in the bathroom. There's a heat vent right below or yeah, right below it. So the heat will uh, dry it up a little faster. And I was pretty chilled when I got in. So I changed my clothes and uh i just kind of sat down because i think that that the snow is a little heavy and uh, i think it took a lot out of me <laughs> on the first snowfall so yeah my my legs are feeling like spaghetti and and my body's feeling a little weird right now so i think i'm just i'm making myself a breakfast sandwich and then i think i'm just going to sit down and relax a little bit so yeah that's I don't know what we're having tonight yet. I'm going to see what Glenn wants. So, so that's that's about all that's going on right now. I know I got some dishes to do, and uh, but I think the important thing right now is I'm going to eat and then I'm going to relax for a little bit. Um, see if my body just feels better after I just relax. So, yeah, first snowfall of the year, <laughs> and. Uh, I shovel and I already don't feel good so I really need to invest in a snowblower <laughs> but nonetheless I'm gonna make my egg sandwich now I got bacon made um, egg and a slice of cheese so
this here is one of my favorite colors. Um, we call it chartreuse for the fishing, uh, the fishing tackle. That's chartreuse color. That's uh, one probably our favorite uh, color to fish with. So <laughs> I love that color. We just call it chartreuse. That's what it's called in the fishing world. I almost opened, I already opened, I almost poured the whole bunch of salt in there. <laughs> I'm glad I noticed it. <laughs> Looks like I got a little bit of yolk on that one. I'm not complaining. I cooked my bacon in the oven since uh, Glenn is not eating this. <laughs> I love my bacon cooked more in the oven. Uh, he does not. So. And I don't like it fried in the pan, <laughs> and he does. <laughs> so, all right, there is my bacon, egg, and cheese breakfast sandwich on an English muffin for this Thursday morning. And I'm going to sit down, eat, and relax a little bit. And uh, I think I'll feel better once I relax a little bit. All right, so stay tuned for whatever. Hey, everyone. So it is after 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and... As I said earlier, I was just going to recline back and relax because I didn't feel the greatest after shoveling the snow. So that's what I did. I actually just got up about 1.30 or so. And uh, so I'm feeling a lot better than what I was. Still not quite 100%, but much better. So um, I just took Glenn out some lunch. He's just having one of those breakfast bowls. And I just made a bologna sandwich. Because I need to get a Walmart order in to see if uh, we can get a delivery today. Because the cats are out of uh, food. And uh, more so the wet food. They got plenty of dry food. But uh, Prissy can't eat dry food. So, alright. So, I'm going to try to get a Walmart order in. And, uh, yeah. So, right now I'm just, uh, I got this really cool log cabin seen on the TV and uh, so yeah all right um, so I'll get back to you guys Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new day. It is the day of our wedding. It is Friday and we are now officially married. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Glenn's laughing already. <laughs> He's already looking for the divorce court. <laughs> So, oh, I said I was looking for a lawyer. A lawyer, okay. Not the first 
So we just got done with the ceremony probably like 10 minutes ago. Uh, we, yeah. just, we just drove here to uh, the circle where the lake is and uh, to share this with you. So yeah, it's done. We are married and now we, we go back to our everyday lives. <laughs> but we're, we've been together 22 years. It's not like we're some young kids. Yep. They were saw each other for the first time a year ago. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the judge came out and we said our vows, and uh, we were we were both trying not to lose it. <laughs> um, as far as starting to cry, and when I looked at Glenn, he he was almost losing it, and he almost made me lose it. <laughs> So, but we got through it, and... Uh, I was just teary-eyed. Yeah, <laughs> teary-eyed. So, so we got through it, and yeah, it was like all of five minutes. And so, yeah. And my big way was uh, that I thought I would stumble the words. Yep. <laughs> we actually were both worried about stumbling our words, and... Uh, but we managed to uh, repeat everything he said. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, uh, we had our two witnesses there, uh, Rachel and Dave. So thank you both. Yep, thank you both uh, for being a part of our wedding day. And uh, yeah, uh, Rachel brought us a cake. So uh, when we get home, I'll share that with you. Show you what it looks like. And uh, so, and now all the worry, because. Up to today, up to right now, we were always, we always had that in the back of my, the our back minds. of our minds that something was going to go wrong, it wasn't going to happen, and so that was our biggest worry about up something. Up until three o'clock, we were worried. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so, um, so yeah, now it's done, and the stress level can go down now, and... <laughs> You know, as I've always said, if we were just two people that were able to walk, didn't have to deal with any any disability or anything, uh, no problem, you know, but... But I still wouldn't want a big wedding. No, it, yeah, if we were like two normal people that could walk or whatever, we still would have done this. We still and we still done don't it. really have a lot of friends that we're close to. Yeah, yeah. Dave is pretty... The only one. <laughs> the only one, yeah. Yeah, so we still would have done it the same way. And, uh... uh Probably would have went somewhere, maybe had a, a dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Both me not being able to get in. Uh, yeah, so we weren't able to take our witnesses out to uh, dinner or anything. I think that's the traditional thing to do. Um, so we did get them some thank you. Well, I made some thank you cards and we just put some gift cards in there for them. So, and then we did tell them this summer we're going to grill out and they're both welcome to join us, um, as a thank you for stepping in to our wedding and sharing our wedding day with us. So, so yeah, anything else, babe? So we are, yeah. At, yeah, we're actually just going to go home and make our ham dinner, and uh, that's it. Which we were supposed to have last night. Yeah, we were going to have ham last night, um, so uh, we ended up breaking the cook at home deal last night, uh, so we didn't make it to 30 days, we made it 17 or 18 days, but uh, we were going to have a ham last night. But we were waiting for some of the stuff in the Walmart delivery, and uh, they got there at what nine? Yeah, I didn't get there till like nine o'clock at night. So we ended up just going to get some hamburgers from Culver's because I was starving. I was just so pukey, hungry, and um, so unfortunately we didn't make the thirty-day challenge of cook at home. But it's not to say in the videos that I'm not going to put cook at home meal or whatever because I think it's uh, important to show how much uh, a person or family cooks all their meals at home. 
um, and that still might encourage others to do so as well to save yourself some money because it is not cheap to eat out um, and the food is much better made at home anyway and we also agreed that every week we're gonna try a new yeah a new dish of some sort yep so we've been going through recipes and every week um, we're either gonna try one new recipe or it's going to be Glenn gets his choice of whatever meal he wants during that week and I get my choice. So, but it would be nice to do at least one new recipe Something a week. new. Yeah, so I think we're going to go that route, right? And I'm so willing to try everything different. Yeah, Glenn's, Glenn's more open to trying other foods and... Being it Mexican, Chinese, yeah. Asian, you name it. Yeah. So, so we're going to do that um, starting next week. Yeah. And then uh, we've actually uh, also talked about after the new year, because we can't do it during the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> when the, the holidays, you like to, you know, snack and munch and all this, have sweets and all that. So, but, Sweets, cookies, candy. Yeah. But after the new year, once uh, New Year's Day is over... Um, we have agreed that we're going to cut back on our sweets. So now when, when you're someone who likes sweets and, you know, all that stuff, to totally cut it out might be a bad thing because then... We've done that before. Yeah, you just crave it more. So we agreed that I will only make a dessert once a week versus how many times we have dessert now. Um, so once a week we'll have a dessert and we're going to cut back a lot of like the uh, candy and, and all that stuff. So, well, we've been going to Oostburg Bakery yeah. for the past month now, yeah, every so, Friday. So the we didn't go today. No, <laughs> we didn't go today. Uh, so the bakery shop visits will stop and uh, maybe we do it once a month or something like that. So we're not... 100% cutting everything out, but we're cutting it back quite a bit. Plus the sodas again. Yeah. Because we so, started drinking Because the holidays should. are here, we, we've been at the soda again. Uh, we were doing really well. And, and we uh, both could feel it. Yep. So, and I could tell how my stomach is when I drink more soda. And uh, so that also, after the holiday season, uh, we'll be cutting that out. Um, I don't know if we'll cut it out completely or just have it like once a month or I don't know. But but after the holiday season, um, we're going to make some changes for a little better. Of a, Hopefully for a better. For a better lifestyle and healthier lifestyle and incorporate more vegetables into our meals. and Maybe my knees won't be as bad. Yeah. I don't know. So, so... Uh, we know you all support us on that and give us your, you know, supportive comments and everything. Um, but it's for the better. Um, but we're just going to get through these holidays. You can't, you can't start it during the holiday season. <laughs> I've done diets all the time, right around this time. Yeah, it it, never it's works. the worst time to do yeah. a diet. So yeah, I mean. I even told Glenn, like, uh, when we, we we cut out our soda just not too long ago, uh, we were doing really good. And when we went camping, I took a picture of myself. And when I was looking at pictures the other day, I saw that picture of myself. And I thought, man, my face looks skinny. And Glenn was always asking me, do you feel okay? Because my face got so skinny. And... Uh, and it must have been just from cutting out the soda. So if it does that, imagine what it'll do when we cut a lot of our sweets and but desserts look down. Look how many calories just a bottle of soda is. So yeah, uh, Glenn was just talking about how many calories a, a bottle of soda has. Um, and at times I had six. Yeah, there were times where Glenn, <coughs> in one day, Glenn would have six bottles of soda. And I didn't do that often. There were days that I had it, like if I was just like on a soda rush, I had like four bottles in a day. And, uh, you know, that's just bad for you. 
and so oh I'll have the bakery yeah so after the new year uh, we're looking to improve our lifestyle our health and all that good stuff so we're not going to count calories but That's too hard it, to know. yeah it's calories and and uh, carbs and all that we're not going to be that excessive and I'm not saying it's excessive but I know a lot of people do that we're just looking to cut out a lot of the sweet stuff the sodas and things like that so and like you all the time like you normally take what four times you go back to eat something <laughs> <laughs> so if you cut it back to two times, <laughs> two, two servings, it should be good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have said that, should I have? <laughs> <laughs> I do not go back for servings four times. I'll go back, I'll go back for a second. <laughs> I'll go back for seconds, but not fours. <laughs> okay, yeah. I stretched it a little. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Alrighty, so again, we also want to thank all of you that uh, donated and made said, our wedding. The, the wedding is it? Yes, is it, that made this possible. Gave us these. Those of you that sent gifts, wedding gifts, uh, bought the ring, donated money so we can get the license and, and all that stuff. Thank you all so much. Um, without your help and with all that, uh, we probably couldn't have done it. I know a lot of you thought we probably weren't weren't going to get yeah, married. Yeah, because we always say we're going to get married, and we never did. And we've been saying it forever, and we never do it. Um, but you talked about getting married how many years ago? I know. So, but now we did it, and uh, thank you all for helping making that happen. Yes. So thank you. So yeah, beautiful rings. Put yours up there. So there you go. We're married. And we love turquoise. Yeah, we love the turquoise. So, alrighty. So, we're probably just going to head home now and uh, uh, start getting supper ready. So, because I'm hungry. Me too. <laughs> we were just talking about. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we really haven't eaten today. I, I well, think we're we just. Could, hmm. We could go to Uspur Bank. <laughs> <laughs> We are not going to Oosburg Bakery. We just got a cake. <laughs> okay, I'm not really being a smart ass. <laughs> you're, you're witnessing the real Glenn. Uh, this is him, <laughs> always uh, joking and, and things like that. But I've always told her, I'll be on my deathbed. <laughs> and my last words are going to be some type of a joke <laughs> or some type of smart ass comment. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so... But this is who we are, uh, real life us. We're not putting on a show for anybody. Uh, we're not trying to be something we're not. This is just who we are. So, um, and we're always joking, even off the camera. Uh, we're we're joking, <laughs> and he jokes right away in the morning as soon as he wakes up. So, so yeah. So yeah, that's us. And, uh, <coughs> We're going to head home now, so thank you so much for uh, taking time out of your day to watch our video. We appreciate all of you and the support you give our channel. And thank you for those who are placing orders on Etsy. Um, the link to the Etsy store is always in the description below. And I'm going to be working on the first Christmas ambience uh, for the Seasonal Ambience channel. So, be looking out for that. Um, and if you have any hobbies, let Karina know. If you're bowling, she can make bowling balls. Yeah. I mean, it's... Yep. Um, if you want something made... A saying about bowling? I mean, yeah. It just doesn't have to be bowling. No. Nope. Nope. If you want a certain sticker made, uh, let me know. Um, if you fish, if you deer hunt, if yep. you do anything. Yep. I'm actually currently working on uh, custom bookmarks uh, with 
family photos and something outdoorsy on the back side so if you want custom stuff made uh, let me know I'll just need you to email me those pics or the photos or whatever and uh, I can make them cus custom also so um, yeah like Glenn said if you want a certain sticker made like I love this I love that or your occupation uh, you want the sticker made let me know I mean there's so many stickers I could think of just for myself I know <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah I'm working on putting new products again together um, I think uh, I'm still making more bookmarks more stickers uh, I think the next thing I'm going to add, product I'm going to add to the store is address labels, return address labels, and round uh, like envelope steel, seal stickers. And I'm going to get some of those out because I know a lot of people use those for Christmas, so I want to get those out as soon as possible. So keep checking that uh, link. It'll be in every single video in the description below. So thank you all so much for those who have placed orders. And now we're done. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to go. And again, thank you so much for tuning in to our videos and being so supportive of our lives. And uh, with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time. Adios. Bye. Alright everyone, so uh, just a continuation of the video. We just got home. We actually went for a little ride afterwards and uh, we just went deer watching and we saw about a total of 25 deer. So it was a pretty good little drive we took. Uh, when we got home, this was sitting outside, uh, not expecting anything. So we're going to open it up and see what it is. All right, everyone. So it looks like these are uh, kitchen racks, like shelves or kitchen racks. Um, but they come with four wheels and they're really heavy duty. So these are from QVC. So that tells me I think it's a certain person. And yeah, I haven't emailed to ask yet, but that's what it looks like these are. So, thank you so much. If this was you, thank you so much. If it wasn't whoever sent it, thank you so much. But I think it's the person I think it is. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not going to put it together right now. Maybe in a little while. Uh, but this is, this is what it is. Pretty heavy duty. This was a pretty heavy box. So, thank you so much. I appreciate this so much. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That is amazing. Alright, so there is the friend mail on our wedding day. Alright everyone, so we are home and I just showed you the other friend mail that was waiting for us uh, after our wedding ceremony. I think I mentioned that we went for a little drive afterwards. We saw about 25 deer, but I'm sure I mentioned that already uh, in my old age, just losing <laughs> uh, my memory here. But this was in the mail, and this is from Chris. Chris, thank you so much for thinking of us. And this is a congratulations on your wedding day card. And the inside is... Wishing you every happiness every day of your lives. Best wishes, Chris. And he also sent a cash gift. So thank you so much, Chris. We appreciate that so much. Um, thank you for thinking of us and sending us the gift with the card. So, uh, so that is our friend mail for our wedding day. All right, everyone. So here is our wedding night cook at home supper. Uh, some uh, ham, and we put brown sugar and pineapple on it. And we like to eat the pineapple afterwards. It tastes super good. <laughs> and we got some baked beans and some uh, brown and serve rolls. So Glenn also had some Amish potato salad. I didn't make any this time. So, but we are having our wedding night cook at home supper. And no going out to eat tonight. So, and this is the way we want it. We want to 
definitely uh, buckle down and uh, cook way more meals at home even though we already do so all right and stay tuned for dessert because I still have to show you the cake all right everyone so here is the cake that Rachel got for us thank you so much for this cake Rachel and thank you for being a part of our wedding day we really appreciate you uh, standing in as a witness for us and uh, yeah so thank you so much it's a beautiful cake uh, congratulations Glenn and Karina 11 2024 and there are some fur baby prints paw prints on the corners which I thought were so cute so thank you again Rachel so much all right so I'm gonna cut into this and I'll be back All right, everyone, so here is what the inside of the cake looks like. It's a delicious marble cake, and look at the thickness of that frosting. Oh, love it. Uh, this is whipped cream uh, frosting. That's the kind we like, and uh, yeah, that whipped cream is really good. So, yeah, Pick and Save's got some of the best whipped cream frosting, and uh, I'm going to have a piece of cake now, so... Now that's going to do it for the video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch our video. And with that, remember to live life. Be good to yourself and be good to others. Until next time.